Morning, dear hearts. Lesson 356, please, please subscribe. Sickness is but another name for sin. Healing is but another name for God. The miracle is thus a call to him. The correction for the belief in the sickness is a call to our Father. Sickness is but another name for sin. Sin is seen in this world as a crime. And truthfully, all sin is, from this perspective, is an error. It's a mistake. It's not a crime. Sin is not a crime. Sickness is the belief in the mistake. What is the mistake? The mistake is the belief that I can be something other than what my father created, that I am somehow different. This section, remember, is what am I? What I am is God's perfect child, and I cannot be sick. Healing is but another name for God. The healing, the name for God, is the recognition, the remembering that, yes, I am part of God. So that is why healing is another name for God. It is the remembrance of God. And the miracle is thus a call to our Father, to Him. The miracle is the correction, the shift that I am having when I realize that sickness is merely a mistake. I cannot be sick. It is a false belief. And to heal is for me to call upon my Father, which this lesson speaks of. Um, it mentions about calling upon uh, your name which also reminds of us of another previous lesson. But the first previous lesson that I'm going to mention is 136, that sickness is a defense against the truth, because that's what today's lesson really is saying. It is a reiteration in different words, but the same idea that we cannot really be sick. To be sick is, an, is a defense it's self-deception. It's a defense against the truth of who we really are. In that lesson, it's lesson 136, if you did not remember, there is a prayer and it says, sickness is a defense against the truth. I will accept the truth of what I am and let my mind be wholly healed today. It's not the body that is sick in ever. It is my mind. My mind is sick also that is mentioned in lesson 136 that my mind is sick it's not it's not this thing that i'm walking around in because it is this is merely uh as i've said many times like a marionette but sickness is the mistake that i make when i think i'm a body the mistake that i make when i think i'm a body a little bit of rhyme there so today's lesson and remember, it's all prayer, says, Father, you promised you would never fail to answer any call your son might make to you. It does not matter where he is and what seems to be his problem, nor what he believes he has become. This is, you know, my belief that I am something apart, a part from, not a part of God. So it does not matter wherever I am, I can call to my Father wherever I am, wherever I believe I might be, and He will always answer. He is your Son, and you will answer Him. The miracle reflects your love, and thus it answers Him. Your name replaces every thought of sin. Who is sinless, can, who is sinless cannot suffer pain. When we find our innocence, when we reclaim our innocence, when we remember our innocence, there is no pain for us. There is no suffering. There is no angst. There is no worry. There is no sickness. None of those qualities are contained within the innocent mind because the innocent mind is a whole mind and a whole mind does not suffer pain and does not believe it is something it is not. Your name 
to go back to the lesson. Your name gives answer to your son because to call your name is but to call his own. I call upon God's name and on my own. We are one. So why would we have separate names? There is one identity. There is one mind. There is one life. And all of these I share with God. So the thing about naming objects, people, ideals, situations, is because as we name something, we take it away from the all that is and we give it its own identity with a tiny eye. So we have removed it from the all that is, the one identity, the capital I identity, and seen it as something other than. When we call upon our Father's name and know that to do that is to call our own name, we rejoin, we remember that all is one and that one is all there is. So that's it for today. I hope this helped. I hope it made sense. Please like, please share, please subscribe, please comment, please pray. We're coming so very close to the completion of this workbook. So please pray and be grateful and have great gratitude that you have come this far. And with, um, with any luck, you'll do it with me again next year. So have a lovely, lovely day. Namaste.